Early voting is here. This year, Texas voters, of course, will select a governor. So we're looking back at the history of some past Texas governors, including one that was brought down by his lunch. Here's KVU's Bob Buckaloo with tonight's backstory. They called him Farmer Jim, though he wasn't much of a farmer. James Ferguson was a banker from Temple, Texas, who had become governor in 1914. Famous or infamous as the only Texas governor to face impeachment. He was popular for his folksy charm across what was then a predominantly rural state, but not so popular among legislators. During his second term in office, he picked a fight with the University of Texas. He demanded that six professors who supported his opponent during his re-election campaign be fired. And when they weren't fired, he cut UT's funding. It was the beginning of the end for Ferguson. Then there was the chicken salad matter. Even though a court had ruled that the state shouldn't have to pay for the governor's groceries, Ferguson kept sending the bills for his food to the state. An example, the governor billed the Texas Treasury for chicken salad and punch over $4,000 worth in today's dollars. This bill from the Driscoll in Austin was presented as evidence during Ferguson's impeachment trial. The Texas Senate found Ferguson guilty on five charges relating to mishandling of public funds and abuse of power. He resigned before he could be removed from office and hoped to run again. He did run, and he lost. But what happened next makes the story even more interesting. Ferguson's wife, Miriam, known as Ma Ferguson, ran for governor and won. A story we'll share another time. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.